determined, committed, Darren Lucas type approach to his defensive game, and he's caused a lot of trouble. And there's a very nice rejection coming from Majuk Majuk. And they're all a little cold to start this one. Blanchfield. And the take back by Sunday Detch. That's that length I was talking about. And this is just great hustle, determination. And it's that level of determination we've seen at both ends of the floor. I'm predicting that if he gets the line, he's going to feed some hungry people <laughs> in New South Wales this year at this game. <laughs> Mitch Norton drops another bomb in. Norton is the man to try to shut him down. Oh, Norton, who's been on the money the last couple. They leave him free, and he's on the money again. All oh, right. From the scramble, Jeez. they get it back, and Steindl, under the hoop, dunks it for $1,000 thanks to Hungry Jacks. And from AJ Ogilvy, here you see the turnover in the backcourt. Clint Steindl tucks it in, but Ogilvy's missed their last couple of games, and he's one of the league leaders. More evidence before we go to that level. Small sample size, according to Andrew Gaze. Bryce Cotton gives us a huge sample size. He's been awesome again this season, Bryce Cotton. Gleason's had him shooting some hoops, getting some work in, and it's paying off. Here's the man, the hot man. Oh, he boy. does it again. <laughs> That's not a replay. Curling around. That was from the 45. This time you see Blanchfield coming. You can't ask Blanchfield. Oh, dear. Look away to Blanchfield. The end one coming up for Todd Blanchfield, the man who single-handedly kept them in the game against the 36ers last game. He's your top five scorers, Bryce Cotton. No surprise at the top of the pops. Good turn by Majuk. Outstanding move. Blanchfield screaming for a Conrad. Pass under the bucket. Hobson gave it back and well worked. Blanchfield with the finish. And poked away by Bryce, who should take it all the way to the hole and jams it for a thousand dollar dunk thanks to Hungry Jacks. That really opens up the uh, the pass that the, the... With the Hawks were getting back into this thing. It was 14, 15, and then a couple of stops, a couple of buckets, and they blow it back out. That'll do. Go to the free throw line for the extra. With the ball. Passes it. Gets it to Boone, and then it's the pass. You certainly not, you shouldn't be taking anything contested when you're only shooting at 20%. And sometimes you just got to put the cue in the rack. Nice. And rejected by Plumley. He's doing his job at the moment, Miles. Winds it down. They're leaving him for the shot if he wants it. Hands it back out. This is huge. They're back in this. Big finish, Illawarra. 13 point game. Maybe he might have found the formula. Hand oh, up, yeah. now we'll do another dunk. What a great look from Glove. Perth are one of the best teams when they've got their backs to the walls about going to their superstars. Expect Cotton and Tariko White to get going shortly. Oh. Might well be the favourites for the title at the end of this round. Here he is on cue, Bryce. From outside, Jeez. outside the arc, Jeez. yet again, as if he knows we're talking about it. The Kings would need to fault up in order for that to happen. Um, so I'd rather be in the Kings situation now than the Perth Wildcats. No right, they do have a very good home stretch coming up. For the Perth Wildcats, Steindl one more time. Couldn't get it to go. Dying seconds, gonna have another crack. Gave it up to Reese Vague. He sees it rattle out on the risk of sounding like Sandra Sully with the late news. Have you heard? Perth Wildcats might be the team to beat again.